and I'm back. <laughs> You'll go back with another video. And let's just, let's talk about this transformation. Let's talk about this transformation a little bit though. <laughs> Cause quarantine had a girl thinking that she can't get back to this. <laughs> but you know what? It's a new day. <laughs> it's a new day. Cause right now, honey, we look good. <laughs> In this package, it comes with extra goodies that includes a comb, two extra clips, and directions on how to take care of the hair. And this non-sponsored video will be featuring Amazing Hair Beauty. And Amazing Hair Beauty Extensions comes with seven clip-ins in one package. The largest clip-in comes with four clip-ins sewed onto the web, two sets of three clip-ins sewed onto the web, three sets of two clip-ins sewed onto the web, and one set of one clip-in sewed onto the web. Right now, I'm parting my hair into two sections for my half-up, half-down hairstyle. It takes me a long time to part my hair because I want that part to be very crisp. And anyone who knows this knows, when you want that line perfect, you want that line perfect, you hear me? In the back section of my hair, I'm going to create a simple braiding pattern. So it'll be easier to attach the clippings in the back. Finally, I'm starting to create a ponytail. Usually when I create any style, I like to push my edges forward so I don't create any unnecessary tension. Now I'm going to create a braid from my puff ball so that the hair extensions have something to attach to. I'm going to attach the clippings to the simple braiding pattern that I've created. At first the clippings were hard to attach to my braids, but if you're a beginner I promise you it will get easier. Just keep practicing, I promise you. I decided to fast forward this video because I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist of clip-ins. I do is clip it and then attach it to the braiding pattern or to your hair. Now I'm going to wrap the clip-ins around the little braid that I made. But at first it was hard to attach the clip-ins to the braid. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. And plus, I'm not going to add too much clip-ins to the ponytail because I don't really need that many clip-ins on top of my head anyway. I don't like tension. But and plus, the hair was long enough to cover up the little braid that I had, by the way. Now I'm going to start my edges finally because I was looking kind of bald headed in the beginning of the video. I'm not even going to front to y'all. But I'm starting to lay down my edges. And guys, laying my edges down takes a process. I'm not even going to sit here and try to front, okay? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me. But you know, your girl's going to try. <laughs> Then I'm about to wet these, and then I'm about to lay this down. Uh, now I'm onto the makeup. Finally, I appreciate everyone who's still here watching my video, but I'm using the Fenty Beauty, and I'm telling you right now, I love this foundation for dry skin. And I'm just blending it in because today I'm going to just do a simple makeup look. One thing I would say about this foundation is that it dries very quick. So anyone who's a beginner, I'm telling you, you might want to speed up. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the concealer. And Jesus Place concealers are like the best concealers on earth. Their concealers are so thick and consistent. And baby, I love a thick concealer, okay? Now I'm about to go in with the setting powder from Patrick Star from Matte Counter and this is like my all time favorite setting powder. Now I'm going to go in with the concealer from Juice Place called Ben and I'm going to be using this to contour my face and baby I love this concealer. I don't really use a bronzer because I feel like I don't really need one. I have like a simple bronzy look and this is what it gives me and that's why I love it. Okay. <laughs> now 
now I'm about to add me some mascara and this mascara is like a sample from I think Sephora so that's why I didn't even tell you guys because girl I don't even wear Sephora. <laughs> now I'm about to add my favorite lip gloss from Fenty and this is like my all time favorite because I don't even have to add a lip liner. It is a simple gloss and that's why I love this gloss guys. You might see this in other videos. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, I thought I was done with this video, but I'm not! Your girl about to add some highlight! And off camera, I did not add my lashes because I can't do that yet on camera. It's kinda hard, alright? I'm gonna practice though. <laughs> This is the finished look. I didn't have a picture and I didn't do the ending with a video. But overall, this is the finished look, guys. And I appreciate everyone who stayed to the end to watch this video. I just want to say, guys, have a blessed day. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching.